probably know someone that either lost their business or the business done closed down or probably done passed away. Like this is freaking crazy. I wanna love to eat some of the healthy things that God has blessed us with, you know? I've been incorporating some healthy stuff in my diet. But of course, I'm a sweet lover. Maybe I'm changing somewhere along the way. You never see so many BBLs. You ever see somebody with a BBL now? I don't even look at women, but but you can't even help yourself, child. Girl, walk past. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Then they don't even move. They don't move, but girl, this girl had a bomb, a bomb.com BBL. Oh, just now <laughs> start imagining yourself if you could be snatched like that child spirit don't need to be snatched like that i'm already no good <laughs> when i see the birds all laid out i feel i feel really bad for them because y'all see how fast a chicken run that chicken be trying to get away that chicken no it's over the fear that that bird must feel. Oh my God, I ain't trying to make y'all feel bad that y'all eat chicken. <laughs> well, I'm a pescatarian. I have a lifestyle channel, so I get to, you know, talk about what happened. And y'all get to ride along with me. And y'all in my life, y'all with me. My spirit of lights are a part of my life. Y'all will be a part of my life until I am no longer ASMR to chill. Is most likely that if I not ASMR too, I'll be a florist again. So um, I'm not gonna um, say, "Oh, I'll never be a florist again." That may not be true. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or nice. but we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. It's <laughs> gonna be rough. Oh, on us, but we're gonna make it. Good morning, Spiller Lights. Good morning. <sighs> Finally made it to the car. I'm gonna take my jacket off until I get to where I'm going. I don't know if it's really hot out here or if it's just me feeling a little bit. <laughs> Overwhelmed. I just was having all this stuff come through my mind. <sighs> because I feel like we finally made it to March and it's like, yay, we made it to March. We made it to March. But then it's like, <sighs> dang, I got so much to do. We. We got so much to do. I don't know if y'all in that, y'all feeling that way. I just feel like with everything that's going on, my door is open. Everything that's going on in the world, and then along with trying to get our everyday life moving kind of smooth as much as we can with everything that's going on, it just seems so too much complicated and it's just so overwhelming so I'll tell you what I got I'll tell you a few things I gotta do first I gotta get Brad little stinky booty clean this truck needs to be clean so freaking good it went through three moves was it three one two one two three three moves it's been through picking up all the curbside food and um, running back and forth to storage. It done been in storage at least 30 times since we had it. And then it done been hurt by freaking rooms to go. So I got to get that fixed. And yeah, I didn't start on part two of story time yet, but I'll tell y'all everything, um, everything that happened, what was resolved and what wasn't resolved in that story time. And also I did do a review and I found out from Google, thank you Google, <laughs> that yeah, the any businesses they can flag it and no one will see your review. It, it is say not available anymore. I used to think that that 
that I, I used to think that wasn't, you know, our review was supposed to be legit. Like our, our true feelings and opinion about a business, you know, especially if we like it or if we don't like it. But, um, if, okay, you can leave a review, but if you don't like it, yeah, especially someone who's an influencer like myself, I get it. I get it. Yeah. They removed it. They blocked it. They flagged it to keep every, you know, people from seeing it. But thank God, <laughs> uh, I have a lifetime. I have lifetime. I have a lifestyle channel, so I get to, you know, talk about what happened, and y'all gets to ride along with me, and y'all in my life, y'all with me. My spirit lights are a part of my life. Y'all will be a part of my life until I am no longer ASMR to chill. Yeah, I'll always be spirit, you know. You ever see me and he's, oh my God, hey, spirit. Yeah, hey. But as far as it's my chew, you know, as long as I'm continuing and showing up for you every day, I'll, I'll be here for you as much as I can. Right now, I feel like I would like to be here for you for the rest of my life. But it just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I really can't say that that might happen because it's just things are crazy things are crazy like you want things to go one way but it may not work out that way for you it just may not you may have to you know and, and we, we change as people over time we end up being interested in something else and 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 people change you know not saying that i want to change because i feel like i'm too old to change i would love to just be spirit girl as regard to as my two forever but i do have i still do love flowers i still do and every time i receive flowers from my kids especially roses something in my heart start to tingle and trickle and just memories and 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 and, 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 and the knowledge the things that i know about being a florist is so intense that it's most likely that if I not ASMR too, I'll be a florist again. So um, I'm not gonna um, say, oh, I'll never be a florist again. That may not be true. Besides bread, I'm on my, I gotta go to the police station. And then I gotta go to the post office to report mail fraud. I gotta do that. And I wish I had done it a long time ago. Cause I'll tell y'all about that in story time about some stuff that had came up. And I kind of like, I, I don't know why we dealt with it. We took care of it, but we thought we did, but we didn't know that we, we didn't think to take extra steps, you know, because you know, whatever I'll tell y'all in story time. So I'm going to do that today. And then I'm going to Dollar Tree cause I need some things for the house. And then we got to be on the search for water. I don't know if we're going to do that today or tomorrow, but we got to find water, uh, drinking water. We still need some things, some food for the house. We still, you know, when we put in the order, we get our food. But we don't get everything that we order. And, you know, uh, it's crazy when stuff start happening is, and you're a vegetarian. Well, I'm a pescatarian. So, you know, it's like, uh, you know, your food is already, you got to be creative. You're already limited to some things, you know. Uh, but you get used to it. You get used to it. You like, I like being a vegetarian, pescatarian. I, I love, I absolutely love it. I really do. It has given me m m a more, uh, I would say a special place in my heart for the, the animals. <laughs> I, that, I would not be the one to say that. Oh my God. Cause I love you so free. I, well, I used to love you so freaking chicken. Now, I feel I actually feel bad when I see the birds. I, I, when I see the birds all laid out, I feel I feel really bad for them because I, I be saying to myself, they be running. Do I see how fast a chicken run? That chicken be trying to get away. That chicken know it's over. You know, and it, oh my god, the fear, the fear that that bird must feel. Oh my god, I ain't trying to make y'all feel bad that y'all eat chicken. <laughs> I'm just saying, we eat certain stuff and, and just think about the fear that that bird feel and then you're eating it and now you know you you taking in that fear you know what i mean i know i don't want to get into that it's too deep don't worry about it girl don't worry about it. don't you know what forget i said it okay because i don't want you to be like oh my god <laughs> but yeah i'm starting to feel a little bit more humble you know i even child the other day i saw two freaking ants i have not seen a bug in my house in my house since i moved here right i get in my car and i look to the right and i see two freaking ants two ants 
And they, they was like, oh my God, what are we going to do? I said, you know what, we might have to bomb. Because that's the only thing I could think about, right? And I was like, uh, it's like I want to take my shoe and go back, 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 back. But then I'm like, I, I can't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather just bomb, you know, bomb. Hopefully by the time I bomb, they done found their way out of here to the ant hill because it has been cold. Now it's hot. Maybe they'll leave. You know, I, I don't know. But anyway, it, it, being a vegetarian, pescetarian kind of, it, it does something for you, even spiritually. For me, for me, I'm, you know, I don't want to you know say it's for everybody but you know everything not for everybody all right y'all so i got a lot going on just a lot dealing with the bank yesterday and dealing with everything all the knowledge that i found out everything i found out even with dealing with my my um uh, my uh what what you call it uh my credit protection plan even with dealing with that all that stuff just stressed me out it was so much it's so much because now i'm put in a position where i have to put off what i have to do to make sure i'm taking care of what i need to do because of what someone else is trying to do you know which is messed up because you know i'm busy i don't have time for this but now i gotta like put all put all my things to the side and take care of this you know and then i haven't even really started unpacking yet i still haven't unpacked yet okay i found this blouse this morning in one of my bags it's wrinkled and everything but i was so freaking happy to see it. i threw it on i threw my freaking blouse on <laughs> yes and i went and grabbed my little black silk pants and put them on my black little sneakers yeah and i, and I found this hat in the bag and i'm like whoa I, oh i was so freaking happy to see it then i'm looking at it, i'm like dang i didn't even know you were missing <laughs> When you don't see yourself for a while, you don't even know you have it. I'm one of those people. See, I'm visual. I need to see all my sh I need to see it. Because if I don't, I'll forget that I even have it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. Where is that? I don't know. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. I, that's what, do you know I was about to say that I didn't want to say it? But then I said he looked kind of like mu too muscular at the top. Did he look too muscular to you? It did look like Dream. It did, but if it was Dream, he would have pulled up right here, right, right in front of us, right? I was saying to myself, did Dream got a new car? That's what I was saying at first. But I think he painted it. I think that is is that car. Dream car he painted it? Um, Let me go be nosy, y'all. I'll be back. I'll finish talking to y'all when I get to the next stop right now. Uh, I think my first stop is going to be to the police station. And then I'll finish uh, talking to y'all. <sighs> trying to give y'all some type of life update i know it's hard keeping up with spirit the only way to keep up someone asked me the other day spirit how do i keep up with the vlogs www.asmr2 life with spirit the vlogs are always there in order okay dream for real is that you his head down in the car you sure that's not you dream I'm looking at him. I don't want to be looking crazy. The guy parked right here in front of us and we're staring at him. <laughs> are you here, Dream? Is that you? <laughs> Dream, why you play too much? Did you paint Betsy? That is Betsy, ain't it? It's not Betsy, Mom. I mean, not Betsy. Uh, Annabelle. <laughs> I must miss Betsy. Uh -huh. No, Dream, we home looking at this guy in the car and it'll look like you. Okay, go up to him. I'm not going up to him. What I'm going to say? Oh, wait. Never mind. What if we scaring him, Ma? We okay, probably scaring the boy. We Let's get out. We up here staring at this man. Right, I'm so thinking it's home. you. So you sure you home? Because we about to pull out. Yeah, I'm not home. All right. Uh, okay, so I made it to the police station. When I got here, you have to wait outside. Uh, and you have to call a number before you can go inside the police station. And we waited in line because someone else was already up there. So we decided to call the number because they said you have to call before you can actually enter. So when I called it, they, they were telling me that COVID, a police officer is actually going to come to me. Instead, of, they're not letting no one into the police station. So I'm going to head home and I'm going to have to put off what I need to do until I take care of this and wait for the police officer. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I might have to wait and go do the post office things tomorrow because so much time, time is just like flying right now for me. So, I decided, I had to call the police station. I told them that I'm not going to make it home in time. Because I did drive quite out of my way to get there. Um, 
So I told them that I'm gonna call them when I'm actually at the house because I don't wanna be like flying through the city trying to get home. So I decided that I needed to, I, cause I actually forgot that I have um, promised Try it, buy it, love it, sell it. Huh? Which one do I use? The 87 one. Um, the, not the orange one. Yeah, ethanol. Ethanol. Diesel, the regular, the black one is regular. Ah, these fancy pumps got fancy stuff on it now. We don't even know which fuel to use. I, shoot, I hope she she, I, she pushed 87, so it should be all right. Uh, try it, buy it, love it, sell it. She told me she sent me a package, so I'm going to go get it. Y'all know I get all <laughs> When I get a package, y'all get happy, y'all. Yes, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you, Spirit of Lights, for always. They got, it's so fancy. Why are they so fancy right now? It's crazy. You know what? I think we used to use 89. Don't we use 89 or do we use 87? Child, the the pumps are. I'm gonna show it to you before I put when it, when I get pull off. I'm gonna show you the pumps. How fancy they done got. So yeah, thank you. I keep saying thank you. Try it, buy it, love it, sell it. It must be meant for you, me to keep saying your name because I appreciate you. Thank y'all for always thinking about spirit. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm gonna go pick up my package and then from there I'm gonna head to the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go get me something to eat and then. And when I get to the house, I'm going to try to, like, clean up a tiny bit because the house is in a total wreck. You know, the police officer is coming by. So, I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't care. But you can tell we just moved in. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to put too much pressure on us. But I'm, I'm going to try to clean up a tiny bit. And while the police officer is on his way, uh, by the time to get there, it should it should be a little comfy. You know, not comfy, but, you know, clean a little bit. At least in the hallway. I, I'm hoping that... I wonder if I'm gonna be able to do the, the the police report just right there. No, I probably you probably gonna come inside because they asked me all kind of questions. They asked me uh, about the, you know anybody cough, anybody sneezing, anybody had COVID, da 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 da, all those questions. So, uh, and our house is pretty disinfect. So I'm definitely gonna make sure I keep my mask on when a police officer come. Yeah, and I just feel like I got so much to do. I decided that I'm gonna do the post office thing probably. A couple of days from here because I got something to do tomorrow so maybe a couple of days today from here I'm gonna go and do the post office it's crazy that I got all this stuff to do and still got to be in my own stuff you know doing my own thing trying to keep my stuff balanced you know it's this it's so crazy Isn't this crazy y'all this is so crazy let me show y'all this gas pump as soon as Nadine put the gas pump inside um truck we got so many get new gas stations all around Houston, y'all. So many of them. So many new ones. But they don't need to be getting so fancy. Keep it simple for us. For the simple people. <laughs> Look how fancy this is. What in the world? What is all of that? That's just too much, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm at the post office, right? And I recently thought about what happened at the gym when uh, me and Nadine went to the sauna. Every other female, every other female had a BBL. We named Dean and never see so many BBLs. You ever see somebody with a BBL now? I don't even look at women, but but you can't even help yourself, child. I'm at the post office picking up the the package, right? And and me and Nadine said, well, let's just sit here because we don't want to be in there. There's too many people in there. We sit here. <laughs> Girl walked past. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, you could I'm, my all I you know all I did was like I was like. Oh my God! And they did fell out. They did said, "Mom, <laughs> we might have to get a BBO." I said, "Girl, if I get a BBO, what? My, my butt already huge. I don't want my butt up like, like. Then they don't even move. They don't move, but girl, 
This girl had a bomb, a bomb.com BBL just now. <laughs> Oh my god she had the butt of a, a woman my size on her little body and she just walking down the road her butt just just all you see is the butt that's all you see is the butt walking when me and Nadine went to the sauna the majority of the people that we saw had BBL I told Nadine I think I saw more white girls with the BBL than I see anything else and I seen a few Spanish but I was like oh my god oh my god I didn't even know that that the little white girls was getting the BBL everybody walking around with a freaking BBL every I mean every person that walked past us well we would come out that that sauna had a BBL <laughs> my head was just like moving all over the place because because it's like when you see a person with a bbl you really checking it out because you you you're saying especially if they're nice you're like wow well and then you start imagining yourself if you could be snatched like that child spirit don't need to be snatched like that i'm already no good <laughs> Okay, so I got my package. The package says Amazon. So I hope that's from you, girl. I hope that's your package. Okay, let me head down here. Um, I got my gas. So I'm going to get my food. No, first I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree. Let me get that. Okay, spirit of lights. I'm sitting out here at Dollar Tree waiting on Nadine to come out. Right. The Dollar Tree right here is pretty empty. Ain't nothing going on, which is nice. I like when the Dollar Trees are empty because it's easy to find a parking space. A lot of times when you go to Dollar Trees and stuff like that, it's hard to find parking space. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> let me finish telling y'all. Okay, so, me and Nadine was cracking up, right? Because um, we were singing like the BBLs are like serious. Child in the sauna, they had BBLs best friends, BBL buddies. I mean, it was like three girls together, BBLs, two girls together, BBLs, like BBLs all over the place. So it was just like even getting out of the sauna, you know, you go in the dressing room, the women's dressing room to change your clothes. I was soaking wet when I came out the sauna the other day. It was nice. We did so good. <laughs> Nadine said every time she opened up her eyes, she had water running for her eyes, y'all dripping. And every time she opened up her eyes, I'm like this. <sighs> I'm, I'm dancing. I'm doing all like this. And I'm just shaking. I'm, go, I'm just dancing all of it. So that's what I say. Mom, Freak, you dancing was, in the sauna. I was hot. I was trying to stay alive. And you was just a move. And you was making me even more hotter. And then it was this lady in the sauna, right? And she was in there. She was going crazy. She was like, ah, 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 ah. And then it was looking back at her like, what the freak? <laughs> and then I started, um doing like you know the drums and everything on my hand just i was listening to that song apple bottom jeans i was just this i was getting down right and then next thing you know the lady she just started doing moving her neck and getting in the rhythm she started tapping and stuff and then uh she could take it on she tried to hang with me and anything she got the hiccup out of y'all when she stood up to leave the sauna she was red all over like she was sitting in the floor of the sun child that that sauna turned her child when she left that sauna she was so red i was like dang i hope she'd be all right because she really red i was almost like worried about her but i told nadine nadine has a nice shape i told nadine she has a really really nice shape she was like yeah she said yeah but you nobody can help but to think about what they want done when they start seeing everybody walking around with a bbl i said yeah shoot i mean if i had uh, uh enough money and i knew that I, I would walk out alive i'd probably be doing a little something i'll be getting snatched but for who i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so I was um when I pulled up right so this guy is out there he's on the phone I don't know why he keep well he he walking past the window back and forth right uh, and his shiny I don't know what child uh, he look cute what he got on though he he real shiny he got on like silver with like a lot of bling bling to it like on the sweater and stuff like that when you look at him he, he's uh, 
it's like a curtain design and then you got all the little glitters and stuff on it and you can't tell him he's not cute right now you cannot tell him not cute. i don't know if he's working in this little place or what but child he out he he on the phone talking to someone there, look another little white girl with the bbl <laughs> child and you can't tell her that and she just a, ooh. And look a guy standing out the door right she walks inside the store she look all the way back at him like that you know girl yeah she said look at my a look at it <laughs> He out there, he on the phone, right? He telling somebody, yeah, um, yeah, when I was with her, I paid all the bills. I paid the rent, I paid the light bill, I paid the water bill, I bought the food, I paid the car insurance, the car note. Only thing I asked her to do was pay her phone bill. That's the only thing I asked a woman to do when they with me is to pay their phone bill. <laughs> So I'll tell you what I did. I took my window and went, I would have went up. <laughs> I, think said my, I think he out there putting in the application. I said, I don't know. But I don't want him to think that I'm listening to his conversation because he's real. And then when I, and then he comes even closer to the car. And I'm like, okay, let me turn myself to the side a little bit. So, you know, um, wow, look at it, girl. It's some cute guys coming out the Dollar Tree. I wonder what he went to the Dollar Tree to get. Probably, um, John. He went in there and bought some shades. He looking real fly. He just put on shades. You know what? Hey, child. <laughs> if it look good, yes. You could get it for a dollar. I know that's right. I know that's the free ride. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sitting here tripping. Oh my God! Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't be looking at people. People be, people. People be tripping out. Anyway, okay. I'm about to go get me something to eat. I hope Nadine's not in here forever. I was about to go in here. I said, man, I get in there. She said, mom, if you come in here, you can't be in here buying a whole lot. Uh, I said, yeah, I know. Because then I would just. She's like, you already got stuff collected that you haven't used yet. So I was like, you know what? Okay, just see. If you see like some Easter marshmallows or something like that. And I'm going to put them in the refrigerator, y'all. I'm not even going to mess with them because we got ways to go before Easter here. But the Easter advertisement is out. They got the baskets and everything out. I meant to ask Nadine, did she check on, um, when she went inside the post office, did I owe any money for my post office? You know, even though they good with me, they, when I owe them money, I think they the only place that don't be like, close it shut it down send all her mail back i think they're the only place that, that that looks out for spirit like that is there another place i'll let you know but right now that's the only place that really look out for spirit if i got packages of mail and my builders do they still collect my packages of mail for me and then when i come in they say hey you owe you know so and so um Yes, yeah, so I like my mailbox. I like my mailbox for my spirit of light. So I try to keep my address the same for that because, you know, I want y'all to always be able to um, send me a letter or talk to me if you want to, you know. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm still collecting my, my uh, letters and my cards for my scrapbook that I'm going to be doing soon. I'm going to make a scrapbook and it's going to say 15, uh, it's going to say 2015 until 20, maybe 22 because i'm gonna try to like i don't know when i'm gonna do it but it's gonna be fun i'm so excited i, I gotta go shopping for the scrapbook that i want to get so i can put in all my letters my cards all the cute little stuff that was sent to me i want to decorate some of them with my stickers um so i'm excited about it yeah y'all know i like little stuff like that uh i got to do my motivation video and I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't even know how I'm going to encourage y'all or motivate y'all when I'm feeling so, eh, like, seriously, I'm feeling so terrible right now. So much been going on in my life. I don't even know. Usually, like, when I do m motivation, I, I do whatever my spirit put on me. Um, but right now, I just, I think my spirit is putting on me that even though, it just seemed like everything is trying to fall back in place. Don't be so quick to want to just jump out there and and buy, buy, buy and spend, spend, spend. Be very conservative with your money. Spirit trying to be conservative with her change. And also, I'm not trying to be on no diet or nothing, but I am incorporating 
some healthy stuff in my diet i'm starting to try well i, I want to love to eat some of the healthy things that god has blessed us with you know and i want to enjoy it so i've been incorporating some healthy stuff in my diet but of course i'm a sweet lover and but i do try when i do eat sweets i try to like m moderation i try to do it in moderation not do too much like for instance right now when it comes to the coffee i'm not doing any like uh too much sweetener i think i did do blueberry the other day that was like a treat from dunkin donuts but lately i just been using almond milk and my stevia and that's it uh the other day i used oat milk um myself it I, I wasn't that fond of it but when i bought the oat milk from dunkin donuts and added the blueberry to it it was pretty darn good i enjoyed it yeah since i haven't been using too many sweeteners in my coffee i've been forgetting up forgetting in the morning to even make coffee i literally don't even think about it after because I'm I have I have a, such a love for coffee like I love coffee but I'm thinking maybe I'm not as addicted as I thought I was maybe I was addicted to how sweet I can make the coffee because now that I'm not worried too much about the sweetener or the sweet in the coffee I drink just a little bit and I'm satisfied and uh, I actually had one time went a whole week without any coffee and Nadine was like mom I can't believe you went a week without coffee. I said, I couldn't believe it either. The moment she mentioned that I went a week without coffee, I went and made some coffee. I made some coffee. I put a little oat milk in it. And I just drank a little bit. And I was like, mmm, it tastes good. But it wasn't like I needed two, three cups of coffee to feel satisfied. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm just changing. You know, I am getting older. Maybe I'm, I'm crossing over to that thrush, that, that thrush thing where now you're 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 literally on the older side maybe that's what it is or maybe i'm just maybe i'm changing somewhere along the way I, i'm not sure last night i cooked not last night the night before i cooked black rice and i cooked whitey i didn't fume it but i had bought a new brand of black rice and i think it was mixed with whole grain or either brown rice and Mm, I wasn't that fond of it. I felt like it didn't taste like the black rice that I normally been cooking. So I didn't enjoy that too much. But I still, I enjoyed the baked fish. I made like, uh, what was it? Sweet and pepper types uh, fish. It came out good. I baked it. It was really, really good. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to add spinach to my sandwiches to my meals like today i'm about to go get me some uh fish i don't need the rice but i'm going to go get it because i missed the taste i haven't had you know the taste in a minute so i'm going to pick up the the fish and rice but i'm gonna add a lot of spinach to my plate and maybe some um avocado oil uh to my plate and i'm gonna enjoy that today so i've been doing little things i added uh purple cabbage to my diet uh what else i add to my oh beets i'm eating beets y'all i added uh some purple uh carrots to my diet there's something else the mainly the black rice i'm in love with the black rice i don't know why i like the black rice like that but i absolutely love it and 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 for some reason when i eat the black rice i literally just feel really good i don't know why the black rice just makes me feel good it really does i really enjoy it oh her hair is so cute this girl got her hair uh, with the natural um, afro it's real pretty she got it like that big huge pretty every time I see the black girls wearing a natural hair it makes me miss my hair it makes me want to go home and snatch off this wig and comb out my little braids and put my hair up but then if the weather's not like this today the weather's really beautiful and if it's uh, start to be a little misty and stuff then my hair acts up and was like oh my god no but if I tell spirit this ain't gonna work, I'd be looking crazy. So my my and my hair love embarrassing me. Like it loves to look pretty, and then um, somehow or another it rain or get misty. Whenever my natural hair out, I feel like I make it rain. I don't know why. I just feel that way. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but it just seems like every time I got my natural hair out here, come the freaking rain. I'm like, darn, darn. Let me just put it in a ponytail bun. I hope Nadine's coming. 
Oh my god, her hair is pretty. Oh my god, she got her hair in the African braids with all the little gold pieces. Child, let me stop people watching. Y'all know why people watch, right? I, I, I ain't gonna say I hate it, but it's like I, I don't know. I, I absolutely love seeing the different walks of life. I really do, especially the way they wear their hair, their style of clothing. Yeah, her hair was so freaking pretty. She had it in a ponytail a bun and all of it just flying down nice and full you know okay you guys i'm not gonna talk y'all to death i'll call i'll let y'all know when i get to um i don't know why but whenever i'm thinking about dollar tree i want a snack i really do i want me a snack <laughs> let me stop thinking about it all right yeah so i'll see y'all when i get my food and hopefully make it home and just go ahead and deal with this police report. Uh, oh my God, this sucks. Isn't that just, this really, really sucks that I gotta file a police report for identity death. Like, but I gotta do it. And the crazy part is, is that like I know in my heart that someone professional that I recently dealt with did it. That's how I feel, yep. I feel like they did it. I felt like, I feel like they felt like I had a move, and I probably changed my address, but from the temporary apartment instead of the old apartment. And they, they, they took a chance and 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 went ahead and committed mail fraud, and opened up a checking account in my name, and didn't think that I was gonna find out. But Spirit Girl had herself protected. Yes, protected. And I was talking to my son earlier and I was telling him the only thing that's going to suck about this is that I will never be able to do anything over the phone. I'll always have to do everything in person because my social security number and license is going to have um, alert on it that because somebody committed identity death. So nobody won't be able to use my name or my social unless, you know they want to deal with the police because it's definitely <laughs> it's definitely going to be uh this i'm definitely doing everything i'm supposed to do everything they told me to do i'm doing it everything and yeah i might have to go to extra mile child this lady she got a pretty wheelchair and she got it blinked out when i tell you she looked like she about 90 she is blinked out honey with her wheelchair she is blinked out okay wow her wheelchair blinked out. All right, y'all. Let me catch my breath from talking so much. I don't know why I'm so happy today. It's, it's sunny. It's beautiful. And I think I'm starting to feel better. Because the last couple of days, I've been really sad. I really have. But I'm starting to feel better now that I know that I'm going to be all right. Y'all. Yeah. Look at this, another tragedy. I'm in absolute shock. I can't believe it. I came to get my fish, my rice. This is where I used to get my crabs from. The one that, yeah, I tell y'all, don't nobody got his taste. He the only one who has that taste. I don't know what happened. I don't know why, but in my heart, I feel really, really bad because I was just here not too long ago. There's no moving sign. There's no we move. When you call the phone number, it said permanently close, gone. Like, they just gone, not here no more. And recently when I was here, he got um, the digital signs and he no longer had like the, the, the posters with the mills on them. He had digital, uh, sign where you could see the food the menu a digital menu that's what it was and he fixed up the outside of it the, i mean the inside of it and it was looking good and i was like wow ted fixing up the place so it's like he's gone he's completely and utterly gone there's people in the building look like they're they're uh trying to find out information about it. three different people look like they're trying to lease the building and I'm sitting up here like, Dad, hey, what happened to him? But I hope in my heart is that he had better endeavors. 
and I pray that he wasn't a victim of what we're going through today in this day and age or everything that's happening to people. And if he is, that he's in the light and this business when I used to come in, he used to talk to me about it and how it was his family business, how he trained his kids, his his wife and they love this business. Like I'm like I'm I'm sad. I'm about ready to cry. I'm so freaking sad and I'm mad at the same time. Angry cuz I feel like nothing's going to ever be the same, y'all. Like when all this is over with things and people and businesses that we remember is going to be gone. And it's really sad cuz I know that all of us probably know someone that either lost their business or the business done closed down or probably done passed away like this is freaking crazy and i'm sitting up here like i'm devastated because i'm never ever gonna be i'm never ever probably gonna know or have that taste again like since i've been here this whole time i've been in texas this has been my number one place the whole entire what almost 10 years and now he's gone just gone it's over like what the freak you know I just feel like everything has changed especially when it comes to me everything has changed around me everything and then now I might be emotional too because I'm dealing with this bull crap and I, I came to get my comfort food today and I'm not gonna be able to get it to see the place just just to see that it's like he never even been here like he never even existed well I am happy that I got to experience Ted. Now he's gone. The business is gone. Yeah, can you see how good that sandwich is? I probably can't see it from here. I, I can't even remember how to do zoom on this video, this uh, camera. But you see how good that sandwich look like there? It's about freaking time. I know that's right, Popeyes. I know that's right. <laughs> Y'all, my tears are dry up. <laughs> I'm so freaking happy because I have been riding trying to figure out what else to get. I was giving to go to Pizza Hut and get me some cheese pizza. I can say that for another day. I when I saw that they got the flounder at Popeyes, I went I crossed three lanes. Okay? So it better be good. Especially the pickles look nice and fat too. Oh, Yes! Hi, thank you for choosing Papa. Give me just one moment, please. Okay. Did you know that I had my phone cheese? Mm. Yeah, I didn't know that. Huh? Get some. I don't want to take off my seat though, because I'm hoping that I get my food fast. Dang, I think it's been at least what five minutes now. I'm still sitting here. Ooh, what happened? Oh Lord, is that her? She she delivering food. I was, she got a whole lot of food in her hand. Is she the? Is she taking orders and delivering the food? Yeah, she got the head thing on her head. So, oh my god oh my god she got like she came out here with big giant bags poor lady she the only one working hello hello yes may i help you yes can i please have um two of the uh cajun flounder sandwiches two one flounder with, sandwiches uh, just the sandwiches yes okay one without big ma'am and it be a weight like um Eight minutes. Okay. Because we have to cook the fish. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So one no pickles, you and the other one all the way. Okay. okay. I want both with pickles. Okay. I only I only want one with no tartar sauce. Okay. Okay. One plain, just the meat and the I mean just the fish um and the sun and the the pickles. Not plain, just no tartar sauce. Oh, okay, and the other one you say no pickles? Yeah, I want pickles. Okay, one with no tartar sauce. 
Yeah. And the other one all the way? Yes. And okay, yes ma'am. Okay, let me have two large fries. Two large french fries, yes ma'am. Two macaroni and cheese. Uh, the mac and cheese, small or large? Oh, okay, just give me one, one. Give, one large, give me one large. One what? One large. Mac and cheese? Yes. Yes ma'am. And one biscuit. Only one biscuit. Mm -hmm. We have a two for one dollar. We like two for one dollar. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. So I have a uh, two flounder sandwiches, one nostalgia sauce, only pickles, and the other one all the way to large fry, French fries, one mac and cheese, large and two biscuits. Yes. Twenty five thirty eight. Okay. Thank you. I have to wait till she bring it out. I don't know how long. She did say it's going to be about eight minutes. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than that. Because, I mean, child, you got people out here with their heads on the on the steering wheel. I guess you know how it is when you get tired of waiting for something and you just start laying your head on the steering wheel. But um, when I went up to the window, there's a lot of people working in here. So they might be backed up on, like, uh, I don't know probably trying to get caught up I, I want to say because of the lights and the water that they're probably trying to get back caught up and stuff I don't know but it's definitely backed up we they got cars lined it up in the Taco Bell parking lot Popeye's parking lot on that side and the cars are all part like their parking lot is with their people that's inside but then the outside people from the drive through is out here lined it up now I'm looking at this girl right. She got a real cute Jeep. It's real cute. She she not a girl. She an older woman with her man. Might be a husband, whatever. But her Jeep is cute. Um, she got pink. Uh, the word Jeep is in pink, and she got pink headlights and pink words going across it. Pink um, windshield blades. Like she got her Jeep decked out. That's real cute. <laughs> That's real cute. So I'm gonna sit here and play my game for a little while like Nadine's doing and y'all I'll show y'all my uh, sandwich when I get it okay probably when I get home depending on um, how it's packed up okay I went through all the bags and everything's good and we even though we had to wait we didn't have to wait that long and they didn't forget none of the food so that's a plus now we just got to taste it <laughs> so i get a feel of what it tastes like nice big bun okay Testing one two one two. It's been a long day. And you just wanna go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're gonna fill out a day. We can tangle.
Get away from here.